Hey Cancer! So I'm going to do a reading for you guys. We're going to see what your messages are at this time. Just keep in mind it is a general reading so if it doesn't make sense just don't force it to fit your situation, okay? Thank you guys for your love and your support on this channel. I really do appreciate you all. We're going to go ahead and get started and see what your message is about, okay? Alright, so I'm seeing a new love, a new love offer. This is refreshing. This feels so good to your soul. Alright, this is bliss. This is happiness. This is healthy. Alright? Yeah, look at that. The Nine of Cups is here. So this is like um, everything that you've been asking for. This person adores you. Okay? I'm seeing somebody here that may want to pamper you. Alright, this is definitely a wish granted. Some of you have been asking for a specific type of person and I feel like yes this person is here or this person is entering into your life very soon all right so get ready okay like get yourself together some of <laughs> some of you may need to like you know refresh your you know your appearance your look all right like you know do a little spa day like just you know make sure that you're <laughs> make sure that you're keeping up with your self-care routine is what i'm seeing because i don't know like you may you may be meeting somebody soon all right this person i'm also just getting like pamper this person wants to pamper you okay so so you're gonna have one more one more this person just finds you so sweet so loving so adorable as well look at that the two of cups oh my god this is like your best friend okay wow this is so beautiful like you guys have so much in common wow it's like you guys you guys may be an older couple or it just seems like you've known this person forever okay and this is such a beautiful experience especially for those of you that have not you know had true intimacy you know, like, you're going to be able to get to know somebody from the inside out. Like, this person is like your best friend, and you are their best friend. Wow, this is so nice. I like this. This is beautiful. The Ten of Cups is here. Wow, okay, so this is definitely, like, emotionally fulfilling. This is long-term, all right? Long-term with this mature couple here, all right? Yeah, you guys are very, very mature. I feel like you guys talk all the time about everything. <laughs> it's like you guys are always texting, always calling, always communicating. Communication is so nice between you two. All right. Ten of Cups is here. Yeah, the Lovers is here. This is a soulmate for sure. This is, wow, okay. You guys have so much in common so much this you guys fit so well together is what i'm seeing <clears throat> this could be a same sex relationship but it doesn't have to be that but i feel like um you guys are like it's like you guys go everywhere together you guys are that couple that just you do everything together yeah, like, you guys cannot be torn apart once you two meet. Like, you guys are inseparable. Yeah, there's a couple here, like, a couple of birds, a couple of people. Like, there are matching, like, there's matching energy. You guys match. This is a really beautiful match. You guys look good together. You guys look like you go together. Wow. The, what? Okay, so the queen, the queen of cups. The Eight of Wands is here. The Ace of Wands. This is, you guys are both on the same page. This almost feels like too good to be true. I don't want to like throw that out there because of course you deserve this. You deserve all of this. Okay, we deserve all of this. Let me go ahead and claim this for myself. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's get into this reading. I'm excited because this feels like different than what I, you know, sometimes pick up in these readings. And this is nice. This feels very healthy. This feels like, you know, mature. Okay, this feels like you guys were meant to be. It, it feels like you were meant to be. 
So tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Whoa, okay. The Two of Cups came out upright. Two of Cups. This, wow. Okay, so somebody could be in a relationship right now. Okay, there could be marriage here. This could be this person asking you to, like, let's make things official. Let's let's commit to each other. Somebody wants to take this seriously, okay? So if you're talking to somebody now and you're already in this thing and everything is just flowing, you know, trust the process. Go with the flow. If it feels right, you know, keep going. I feel like there's an agreement here. This person, like... This could be a long distance relationship and this person may be moving to you or you're, you're moving to them. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but it, yeah, I'm, I am seeing like space for somebody. This is long distance and you guys come to some type of agreement. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more about the two of cups. Let's see. The two of cups. Two of cups. The Nine of Cups. Look at this. <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups here twice. The Two of Cups here. So there's a lot of like mirrors. Mirroring energy. This person. You guys are the same. The same person. Wow. That's crazy. You may be so surprised how similar you two are. Because it just. It's, I don't know why. But I feel so surprised. Like the Nine of Cups is here twice. Two of Cups. I'm seeing the King of Cups. I saw the Queen of Cups earlier. Like this is a very. Um matchy yeah look at that queen of cups king of cups you guys match there's a lot of matching energy going on and this is what you've asked for i'm seeing like you're satisfied you're overjoyed you both are you both feel the same way for some of you you're in a new relationship and everything feels like amazing you guys feel the same way about each other so that's beautiful. You guys are on the same page. There is no confusion. There is no drama. I don't see any of that. Like, this is great. <laughs> there is no stress here. Like, what? Okay, Spirit, tell me. Tell me more about this message for the collective. I love this. Yeah, and this is coming in. For some of you, you're manifesting this person. Wish granted, okay? Like you're manifesting a connection or you're just giving yourself so much love. Like maybe you're not even realizing what you're doing. That could be another thing. Like that could be another reason why this may surprise you because I kind of feel like the, the matching is, is just, that's what's kind of like surprising me how things are matching so well, okay? So you may have been taking a lot of time by yourself just kind of focusing on pampering yourself, getting yourself together, just focusing on you, okay? Nine of Cups is like single energy here. Everything is, you know, going well in your life and then this person comes in and they fit in your life perfectly, all right? Like, maybe I shouldn't say perfectly, but it just it feels very close to perfect. Very, very close. Okay, so I'm seeing the four of pentacles here at the bottom. <laughs> The two of pentacles here in the sun. Okay, so I feel like um, for some of you, this is, it, like I was saying earlier, like a little too good to be true. Like this person feels right. Like everything is nice. There is no drama. There's no chaos. There is no like stress. And I feel like it's because you've been working on yourself, okay? You've been working on yourself to like remove all that energy out of your life. So... Now you're in the space of welcoming, like, peace, love, happiness, joy, communication, like, bliss. This person is devoted to you. I'm hearing devotion. Look at that. Devotion. All right? Queen of Pentacles here. Long term. This is a long term uh, connection that you're manifesting. And maybe you weren't recognizing it or realizing. Um, yeah, for some of you, you've been, you've been focused on yourself for so long. You've been devoted to yourself your self-care, your self-love journey. And not even realizing, like, you have this new relationship just running right into your life. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. All right, Collective, let's get back into the reading. Sorry about that interruption. Um, but the Ace of Wands is here. Okay, so... 
This card talks about passion. This talks about desire. This is like, this is somebody that, um, chemistry is here. Yeah, like this is, you guys feel the same exact way. Like there's a lot of similarity here. It's crazy. It's so crazy how well you two, like, fit in each other's lives. Like, you, there is no... This just works, you know? I don't know. Like, it just works. It's just flowing. You don't have to stress this. You don't have to force. There is no forcing here. It's just... There's agreements. Everybody's going with the flow. It feels right. We're getting into it. We feel the same way about each other. We're talking all the time. Like, communication is great is what I'm seeing here. Okay? Like, this is what you've been asking for. Okay? And it's finally here. This is like... For some of you, you may have a child or children. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> the Page of Pentacles is here. The Five of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you, you do have children, and maybe the father is not around. This person is going to be such a beautiful, like, example, okay, of what a father or mother looks like, all right? Of course, this is not going to replace the other parent, but this person that's coming into your life, for those of you that are getting married, because I'm seeing, like, long-term, I'm seeing commitment. For those of you that are getting married, this man or this woman that's coming into your child's life is going to be a really nice example of you know what an adult what a a parent a mother or father looks like okay so this is just everything is just flowing it's beautiful it really is so tell me more what else do you need the collective to know about this connection or this reading what other messages do you have what else? I just want to pull out a few more. Okay, so the Fool is here. Alright, it fell out like this. We have the Fool card. Aries energy. So there's a new start. Mm. So I'm picking up on this energy where this may kind of like, you, I kind of feel like it takes you by surprise. Because you're spending a lot of time by yourself, okay? <laughs> the, nine of, the Nine of Cups is here. So I feel like you 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 have taken the time to just nurture yourself and you're used to being alone or, and you don't mind <laughs> okay you don't mind you know focusing on yourself your me time is very very important okay that's what i'm seeing so if you're up for for this connection if you're up for it there's an opportunity for new love to come into your life. You may be pleasantly, pleasantly surprised, okay? So take some time to kind of like think about it. Think about your wants. Think about, you know, what you've been asking for because it feels like you you have been manifesting a partner or a relationship without even knowing it and it's here. Yeah, High Priestess is here. The Five of Wands, okay. The Six of Cups and the Devil. All right. Tell me more about this Fool card, Holy Spirit. The Hermit, okay. All right, so we have the Hermit here. Everything sounds good, all right. <laughs> sounds good. The person sounds like, you know your long lost best friend like it feels nice but i'm also getting this energy where you are very hesitant or you're so used to being by yourself like you're somewhat of a yeah you're a hermit okay like you like time alone your alone time is very very important to you and you're not really trying to compromise that for anyone or anything so there is a little bit of a dilemma for those of you that are considering because this is somebody this okay I, I know this kind of sounds a little bit cliche but this almost feels like once in a lifetime opportunity all right I feel like I just need to say that one time okay um 
that's not for everybody but i am feeling like there is the matches the the way you two meet the way you two have things in common like there's so many similarities between you two this person may be feeling the same exact way about their me time okay that may be something that you two have in common like you both love to spend time by yourself so they understand all right i don't know but i would just say you know listen to your intuition take some time to connect with spirit because you're being blessed right now all right this is the hand of spirit okay blessing you with new love okay something new to be passionate about a new connection okay so this may you know this may surprise you this may turn out to be something that yeah like brings so much happiness into your life let's see spirit anything else you need thank you the sun all right that's it <laughs> We have the sun card here. We have Leo energy coming through. This is happiness. This is bliss. This is peace. Again, like there's a child here. You may have, um, you know, a daughter or a son. Okay, or more, more than one child. But I feel like there's going to be so much fulfillment for not just you, but your children or your child. Let's, um... Let's do, uh... Let's do, uh, okay, let's do this thing. Okay. I'm just going to pull a few cards from this deck. And then I'm going to wrap this one up. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit. What other messages do you have for... The collective, those that are resonating with this reading. Some of the signs I hear, I see here are Aries, Leo, Virgo. Okay, it could be any sign. You could be any sign, but those are some of the main ones I'm seeing here. All right, Holy Spirit, what other messages do you have for the collective about this connection? Listen and reflect. So it says, sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. Okay, let's see. Spirit, tell me more. So listen and take some time to digest what this person is saying to you. All right? Listen to this person. Digest it. And just hear hear this person out. Just hear the, I feel like somebody wants to say, like, just hear me out. Or that's this energy. Just, you know, just take a take it take some time to listen. Alright. Telepathy is here. Some of you could be getting messages. Alright. You may, you know, hear songs or you may hear words. You may like see different pictures. Or I feel like you're getting communication. It says, pay attention to the telepathic messages that are being sent and received at this time. You're connecting to your soulmate. Okay? Right now, for those of you that are resonating with this reading, you are connecting to your soulmate is what I'm seeing. And then I see, watch out. It says, this is a warning message. Be aware of gossip, envy, and jealousy. Someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection. Yeah, I've seen that with that devil card. Five of Wands. And at the bottom, final shot. Now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if. Memories, what? The tables have turned. Okay, so for some of you, this is somebody from the past. That's why it feels so... <laughs> That's why it feels so, like, matchy. It feels so familiar. That's why things are similar. This is a past person for some of you. Mmm. Wow. Okay, so you have a lot to think about. Okay, so this does change things. All right, collective. My camera just died. But, um, yes, for some of you, this is a past person. All right? That's why it feels so familiar. But this person is coming towards you and it's like a long lost best friend this is somebody that you do have so much in common with this person you already know this person for some of you yeah for some of you this could be a brand new person okay all of that still is valid but i'm also seeing for some it's like 50 50 for some of you this is a past person all right this person wants you to hear them out 
okay this person may be popping up in your head randomly like you may have stopped like just thinking about this person and randomly they're kind of like coming back into your energy wow okay so for some of you this is a dilemma here with this full card coming out like this because you know the past the, the history that you two have shared maybe you dropped them for a reason but they're trying to come towards you and they're trying to like plead their case they want you to just hear them out is what i'm getting so for those of you that are dealing with a past person and you are a little iffy okay let's see what they may say to you okay so i'm gonna pull from a deck and then i'm gonna wrap this reading up okay but for the most part uh this definitely could be a new person i'm still like i still strongly feel like this is a new energy okay this person could be in a new energy they could be okay so you just have to take care of this this past person could have been working on themselves this entire time they've been you know focusing on their self-love and now they are a new person and now they want you know to come towards you and share their experiences all right so the past is present all right <laughs> the past is present the past is here all right and if you don't want a past person then you already know how to handle that okay but for those of you that are like curious okay a little on the fence with that full card coming out like that let's see what this person may be saying to you okay all right holy spirit what else do you need uh, the collective to know about this past person? For those that are dealing with an ex that's coming towards them, that wants to reach out and talk, yeah, they want you to listen. Yeah, I'm saying, like, please listen to me. Um, tell me more. What was this? Thank you. It says, I'm mentally stronger. Okay, so this is an indication that they have been working on themselves. All right. Just like you. We have the Nine of Cups here twice. All right. And again, like, listen to your intuition. Definitely use discernment. Like, if you know you don't want any of your exes back, then this part of the reading isn't for you. But let's see. Let's do two more. What else will this person say? Okay, let's see. Okay, so opinions of others. Family, friends, outside influences. <clears throat> so this person may be wanting to explain to you like what happened. Yeah, you guys are going to talk. Communication is going to be very open. I'm, I still stand on that. I feel like they are going to be very honest, very upfront about what happened between you two. Okay, maybe why they disconnected or why things kind of just, you know, went cold. Okay, they're going to talk to you about that. There may have been people that were like going against you and your person. Okay, because the watch out card, it says, this is a warning message. Be aware of gossip, envy, and jealousy. Someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection. Okay, and that may have, you know, took place. Let's do one more, Holy Spirit. What does this person want to say to the collective? Can I give you my heart? That's the question here. Will you be mine? Okay, can we go steady? Can I commit myself to you? All right, are you still interested? Like, those are the, the questions here. All right, there's like an agreement here. They want to know, like, can we try again? All right, and so at the end of the day, of course, it's always, it's up to you whether or not you want to give this person another tr uh, try. If you don't want to deal with this person, I still feel like there is a new person that's in your energy, okay? So continue to focus on yourself. Continue to, you know, upkeep your self-love, your self-care because you are attracting love. And this love feels good. This feels sincere. This feels like the real deal, okay? All right, collective. So that is your reading. I really hope that this reading was helpful. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can email me. It's in the description box below. Also, do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can see when I post readings for the channel, okay? You guys take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.